So just before the video does start, just a quick little ad on a uh, trading service I offer over on Twitch. I do daily trading guides including loads of price sheets for special card trading, silver trading and so on and so on. And you get them daily over there for £5 a month or free with Amazon Prime. Yo, so guys, and welcome to episode 19 of the Daily Snipe. So, we're going to be doing a lot of icon train today, and we're going to be listing up a lot of icons for lazy buys, because we've got rewards to worry. We should price push our prices, which means we're in no hurry to sell stuff. So, Santa so off here with a Pep Guardiola. Kind of just bought him and hoped that it was a good deal, but there you go, going for 170. We're going to be listing him up for 195, which is a 25k difference with a 10k tax and a nice little 15k profit, but... Yeah, it should be loads and loads of buying today. Maybe not as much selling because, again, everyone's going to be listed up for lazy buyers to go and sell on tomorrow when the whole market is up because of what we need rewards. Uh, yeah. So we got ourselves another deal, and that is a Shearer for 154. We're going to sell that for 166. 12k difference, 8k tax. Yeah, maybe a 4k profit. Not uh, not too amazing, but uh, it should hopefully be an easy sell because we've really sold one on this morning. So we got ourselves two cards. We've got Zola, who I thought was actually a banging deal. I, I got really gassed by him and then realised that's literally 10k profit. But uh, where are we going to go? We'll go 460 on him. Uh, 20k tax, uh, 40k profit. So, well, actually, it's 23k tax. So, yeah, 17k profit if I can sell for that. That is overselling him by about 20k. But again, the market should be rising with uh, weekly rewards. So, happy days. And we got yet another Shiro for 149. Uh, I'm going to sell that for 166. 17k difference, 8k tax. With a 9k profit, happy days. In fact, I'm going to compare price on them quickly because 149 was quite a good buy and it didn't sell instantly. So, yeah, we might be able to get some good deals on him. So, again, remember we can sell him for 166. So, no, nothing on that. Well, there you go. So, a few more deals. Uh, Pillow we got here for 250. We're going to be flipping that for 280. So, obviously, that's a 30k difference with a, what's that, a 14k tax. So, a 16k profit, which is decent. So, there goes Pillow. And we got ourselves uh, two Clivers, one here for 152, we're going to sell him for 174, uh, that's a 22k difference with a six with an 8k tax, so that is a 16k profit. I also went and picked up another one, basically I got a good deal on him, and then I was like, okay, let me check Clivert, because that's actually relatively cheap for Clivert. And then we're going to snuff this one out, uh, which again is 5k more, so there is what, a 13k difference, 8k tax, so a 5k profit, but... Um, yeah, not too bad uh, on the... Oh, sorry, no, 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 sorry. There's a 17k difference uh, with a 8k tax, so a 12k profit. There you go. Not too bad. So we got ourselves a good little deer here on Overmars for 110. We're going to be listening up this Overmars for 130. That is a 20k difference with a 6.5k tax and uh, leaving us a what 13.5k profit on him. There you go. Uh, but there we go. Not too bad of a deal on Overmars. Should we see if anything's sold on? No, we're still relatively sort of uh, selling on, but uh, it's okay. Tomorrow's rewards and we should... So we got ourselves a nice little snipe on the likes of Inzaghi. Also, I've kind of bought loads and loads of hazards because he's dropped from like 190 being heavily pre-invested um, to being, you know, quite heavily panic sold. Uh, cheaper to what he was this weekend, so that's why I'm just picking up loads of 260 right now. I'm going to sell them all tomorrow. Inzaghi, though, there's a 17k difference, a 7k tax and a 10k profit, so very nice. Uh, while I'm there, might as well check to see if there's any Inzaghi deals, so... Yeah, so it might be up to 150 tomorrow with rewards. Again, there's there's really no mad hurry to sell coins. It's not like we're in a, a hurry to, you know, get more of a cash flow coming in my way. But there we go, 147, 10k profit, happy days. Another buy right here, we got a Trezeguet for 114. Uh, Going to be going selling him for 125, which is an 11k difference with a 6k tax and a 5k profit. But there you go, there is yet another icon flip. So I've got Inzaghi right here uh, for 100, going to flip that for 112, uh, which is a 12k difference with a 5.5k tax, uh, therefore making a nice little 6.5k profit. So, yeah, not bad, although I don't know what 112 apparently looks like. There we go. Not looking too bad, but yeah, just still icon trading and investing in the odd hazard. Uh, I say hazard's down because people avoid mating week, he did mating week, and now he's been panic sold. All right, another card, 110, going to sell that for 122, 12k difference, 6k tax, 6k profit on the likes of Owen. Uh, again, not amazing, I think it's going right to about 120 right now, which should only be a 4k profit, so that's what we're pushing on a little bit more to make 6k off of him. On top of that, we're on no mad, no mad hurry for coins. Okay, so we've got to sell three more Larsons. Uh, Larsons were all bought for 140 to 145. We are going to try and flip him for 160. I'm going to show you one Larson there. There you go, 140 on that one. And then 140 and 143. So we're going to try and get 160 for them, which at worst is going to be a 16k profit, an 8k tax, uh, and therefore an 8k profit, a 9k profit. And then the last one is going to give us a 12k profit. So yeah, not too bad whatsoever. 
So I got myself our second uh, 90 Zola. We're going to try and go 450 instead of 460 for this one. Uh, we might have to send them to the club quickly because it seems like we were unassigned on what was it? icons and want to watch hazards. Could be worse, but there you go. We're going to go list them up for 450. Uh, 450 is going to be a 37k difference. Tax in this is going to be 22k, so... 15k profit after tax, not bad. Hopefully we can, uh, yeah, sell this one on and uh, not just get a collection of Zolas. So guys, have another deal, and that is the likes of Shevchenko there for 162. Uh, planning to get at least 185 from that, which is a 23k difference with a 9k tax and a 14k profit. So yeah, very nice on the likes of Chef. There you go, just telling you, uh, or showing you some of the very little amount of sales again. There you go, and in Zagi for 112, we managed to snipe ourselves for 100k earlier. So we got ourselves in Zagi right here. Uh, obviously, we sold him for 112 and 115 today. So let's say we go sell him for 115, 15k profit, 5.5k tax, 11, well, sorry, 9.5k profit on uh, on Inzaghi. Not too bad. We've got about five minutes till we go to 6pm as well. So I guess we might show if we have some uh, decent 6pm. We actually had really good 6pm yesterday where we made good money on fishes and loud drops. But uh, yeah, well, uh, let's show you any other stuff. So we got ourselves in a Kato for 166. Can we try to get this for 188, which is a 22k difference with a 9k tax, which is a 13k profit? So, yeah, happy days on the likes of Nakata. So we got ourselves a layman for 115. We're going to sell us 132, which is a 17k difference. And I can't miss them. Uh, 17k difference with a tax of 6.5k. So, a uh, yeah, 10.5k profit on the likes of layman. Not bad. Anything sold? No. We're just. Kind of chock a block right now, just looking to invest that last 7.4 mil. So we got ourselves a Yashin, uh, which has been up to about 580 even recently. So that's a 65k difference. Tax is going to be just shy of 30, it's 29k. So yeah, um, was that a 61k difference, 29k tax, which means the best part of what 22k profit, if I'm not wrong, or 32k profit. Yeah, no, 22k profit, but there we go, not too bad. Nope. 28k profit, I can't. Alright, so 520. Alright, we're going to sell him for 580. That is a 61k difference. 580 has a tax of 29k, which means it's a 32k profit. I can't I can't maths right now. So we've just got a pretty mad snipe. We got an Akotcha for, well, just sub 100k. Akotcha sells on for 170, probably even 175 tomorrow. So, I'll say we sell him for 175 tomorrow because I think that's pretty realistic. That is a 76k difference with a tax of, I'm slow today, uh, tax of, what, 8k? So, uh, yeah, not bad. A 60, 60, what did I say, 76, a 68k profit, I can't speak, it's too hot. But there we go, not bad. It's last start, you know, I haven't had one of these banging snipes for a while, but uh, yeah, nice little 68k profit on JJ Quatcha. So, got myself two players, got a Shearer for 150 and another Shearer for 153. Going to be selling both of them at 166. Um, like we stated with Shearer earlier, there's this annoying glitch, right? And this is what I tell you, if you buy a lot of icons, you're going to end up getting this glitch. Best way to do with this, just bang out network, bang that on and off, because otherwise, it literally is just going to sit there. But yeah, going for 150 uh, and 153, so at minimum, that's 13k, 8k tax, 15k, sorry, 5k profit and a 8k profit. On both those shares, but this is the fastest way if you ever get glitches, just go to your network, turn it on and off, way faster than closing the game and loading it back up again. So, uh, Komen got for two or Kumen, we got for uh, 204, we're gonna start at 225, which is you know 21k difference with the tax of about 11k, so 10k profit on the likes of Komen, not too bad. Also, got yet another Shearer at 150, gonna sell that for 166, so yeah, 16k different, 8k tax, and an 8k profit. So got another boy right here on Baston. Sadly, not amazing. Got here at 219. Going to flip it up for 240, which is a 21k difference. He's going to have a tax of 12k, uh, which means only a 9k profit. And a 240k card is not madly what you wanted. But uh, there you go. Just nonetheless, there is yet another flip. At the end of the world, I don't think it's... I don't madly mind only taking small uh, profits because at the moment, I'm really just trying to learn prices ready for Friday. Like, ready for Friday to Saturday, Sunday, whatever. Just trying to learn the icon market, so I guess having smaller profits yet learning prices is probably not a bad trade-off, but yeah, just do again, tricking away at uh, icon sniping. Is he good? He's got a few low buy nows on him. He sells for about a 315. He's going for 290 right now, so 280 or below would be good, but 
yeah, not really finding anything out there. So I got no card right here. Uh, Lau drop at 124. He sells at 140, which is a 16k profit, a 7k tax, and a 9k profit after tax. So, yeah, not too bad on the likes of Lau drop. So another little deal right here on Lau drop uh, going for 126. That says I didn't win him, but I did. Uh, 126, 14k difference, 7k tax, uh, which is 7k profit, 7k tax. Mrs. Littman for 160 as well. I think it's about what 180 and a bit. So a little bit of money on that, and I believe we've had a player sell on it as well. So let's have a little gander. And uh, see what I was going to sell it on. Also, the hazards I started worrying about, which are about 10 million, went to 140, and now they've already rebounded. To, sorry, went down to 240, already rebounded to 265, which is nice. But there goes Shira, who we're buying for, I think 103 or under. So that's a nice little, uh, yeah, nice little 5, 6k profit right there. So we got to have gigs. Should be a sell out for 145, which is a 15k difference with a 7k tax and a 7k profit. So, yeah, not too bad on the likes of gigs. So we've just gone and sold a Shearer for 115, uh, and now we've managed to go and pick up two more Shearers. Uh, one for 102, gains broken, all right, and one for 103. So uh, that's a 12k profit, um, you know, with a 6k tax. So basically six and 7k profits after tax, but uh, uh, yeah. Basically, I'm just trying to get all my coins invested in special cards for tomorrow, because all icons should rise. So you know, your coins are more valuable in players than have just sitting there, so I kind of trying to invest and trying to spend my coins until I have absolutely nothing in the back. So we are going to be ending off a day of a really successful, I guess, learn in the market because uh, basically the whole plan of action is we can learn the market pretty well for Thursday, Friday, especially Friday, going on Saturday, Sunday, um, and just make loads and loads of money. So uh, yeah, at the moment, obviously, to end of the episode, we've gone and sold a few cards, but not too many cards selling on right now. Don't think there's anything too much to worry about because um, obviously got weak and even rewards tomorrow, so there's no hurry in selling players. Uh, bought a bunch of hazards earlier for 250 to 260. Got a little bit worried about the hazards because he did actually drop down to 245. But uh, I believe uh, we're not looking too bad now. I believe he's up to 265, if I'm not wrong, for his one to watch card. As I say, his one to watch card absolutely. Ooh, that might not be too bad of a buy. His uh, one to watch card absolutely crashed because people thought he'd be hitting the team of the week and then didn't hit the team of the week. Um, and then as a result. Uh, you know, got panic sold, and now he's on the way back up again. And I'm expecting again with uh, with people's coins from weekly rewards. Uh, hopefully, she'll be back up again. But yeah, he got down, as I say, down to two four five, and we're already seeing him getting close. I mean, two six two six five is not flooded. Two seventy is at the point where he's uh, starting to be uh, flooded as such. So yeah, that's the plan of action. Going to be selling on them and all the other icons we managed to, uh, you know, obviously managed to compile over uh, the last twenty four hours, I guess. But there you go. Thank you very much for watching episode nineteen. Daily Snipes should be back, and SBC Road to Glory should start rolling out on the Sunday. So you can have Daily Snipes, and I'm going to walk through a few uh, trading decisions as well, which should hopefully be some nice content.